So, <clears throat> time for a cup of tea and a chat about seals. I'll make sure these are all in frame. So, here's a mixture of seals. These are uh, an LGU seal. That's an LGV seal, but it's a blue one. And then, I think that's a, an old VMAX seal. A 30 mil fire arc seal off HW80. It's in a bit of use. And then a Century, I think it is. Well, the Century seal. Really nice seal, actually. Fits on Virax as well, by the way. So, what we're going to talk about, we're going to talk about what happens to seals when the temperature goes up and down. We've already talked about Delrin and the coefficient of thermal expansion. Well, polyurethane, depending on what it's mixed with, and the different grades and the different design of the seal, this all expands and contracts with heat. Now, the first thing you've got to remember is most of these seals, these two don't, but these three seals here, these all have a parachute arrangement and you can see that the lip on the seal is compliant and the seals are predominantly designed, even though that one is tapered down at the back and then take and then expands out on the lip the seal is designed to be compliant and what i mean by compliant is when the weather gets warm polyurethane expands but because the lip is soft the material has been thinned down and the groove placed into it the seal itself can comply to what is inside so it basically will squash in a bit now the frictional losses will go up a bit and this is where it's key you have the right lubrication but at the end at the end of the day the seals are pretty compliant so you get a wide temperature working range extremes of heat are obviously going to be a problem but for normal day-to-day -day shooting, they're going to be they're going to work just fine. Now, what happens when it gets cold? Well, when polyurethane gets cold, the material shrinks, so it'll have a particular diameter at twenty degrees C, and at freezing zero degrees C, <clears throat> this diameter will go down. So, how does that affect springers? Well. Most people will know that a spring gun in the winter time, especially when it's cold, the power will go up. The reason why the power goes up is because the frictional losses generated by the seal rubbing down the inside of the compression cylinder go down. So it becomes more efficient. But if you size the seal for good efficiency in warm weather, so say between 15 and 40 degrees centigrade and the, uh, the frictional losses are pretty much the same all the time when the seal gets cold really cold it might shrink far enough that you can actually suffer a little bit of blow by which means that the action will actually lose power now that this is the only downfall i found with polyurethane it has a working temperature but you can't have the best of both worlds unfortunately it can't work from minus 20 to plus 60 centigrade it's just not going to happen really so what do you do well if you've say you've got a an lgv lgu what you do is you size the seal for summer use because most people shoot more in the warmer months than the colder months so you size the seal down because these are quite tight you size it down so it gives good efficiency in the gun up to 35 40 degrees and what you what you can do is you can actually throw the piston in your oven if your oven can do 40 degrees centigrade you throw the piston in the oven for 20 minutes or so and the seal will expand 
or hit the seal with a hairdryer and warm it up. And then you can pop it back in your gun pretty quick and shoot it over a chronograph and see if it's losing any power. But remember, with an LGU, you've got Delrin bearings and they expand all on their own. That's another, another story which I've already gone through. So, but you can actually take the front bearing off and just run this seal just to test. So at the end of the day, you, I prefer, and I think it's a wiser move to size these seals for uh, spring, summer and autumn use. And then what you do then is you buy yourself a spare seal and you have two and you put one that is larger on the diameter, on the lip, remember, because the seals are smaller at the back end than they are at the front end. This is parallel and then it flares out on the lip. This one's smaller at the back and wider on the front, on the front face. So you you have a, a separate seal for winter. And when the, when the weather goes cold, end of November, something like that, you basically just swap your seal over and you shoot the larger diameter on the lip seal through the winter time when the weather's colder which is a two minute job to swap a seal and then when the weather warms up you put your slightly size down seal on so that the material is still the right size because remember in the cold so if you do most of your shooting outdoors unheated this seal will run smaller than what it is at 20 degrees so if this is if, if you're shooting at five degrees c or less around freezing or even under freezing this seal will be smaller than what it is at 20 degrees so just a quick thought on that if you notice your gun has lost power now the weather's gone colder you might want to look and see if you've sized the seal or if this, the front seal is a little tiny bit too small. It doesn't need much. You might only need 0.1 on the lip, bigger. So let's say this is 25.1 for summer use in an LGU. For winter use, you might need to size, have a seal at 25.25 at room temperature, and that would shrink down to 25.1 when it's cold and then work just as good as the summer seal. So anyway, that's food for thought. Have in mind that everything has, everything moves, all materials expand and contract, and they all have different rates of expansion and contraction. So, if you shoot competitive, or if you do lots of shooting in the cold, you might want to look at the diameters of your seals. <laughs>